Manchester United are stepping into a new era and for this new era to officially begin, a lot will have to be done in the transfer window. Already there have been departures with Pogba, Mata, Lingard and Matic already having said their official goodbyes and the likes of Twanzebe, Cavani, Wambisaka and Bailly also expected to follow suit in the coming days. However, there hasn't been as much movement in the way in as there has been on the way out. But Eric Ten Hag, the new Man United manager, has his eyes on quite a number of players. Top of that list is Barcelona's Frenkie de Jong. The Dutch manager is looking to leverage on his relationship with the midfielder, which was developed when they were together at Ajax, to lure him over to England. But de Jong doesn't seem very interested in making the move to England right now. But why? Here are four reasons why Frankie de Jong won't move to Manchester United this summer. Number 1. Champions League Football First of all, Frankie would like to play Champions League football next season and Manchester United cannot offer that. The English giants failed to qualify for the UEFA Champions League after finishing outside the top four this season, so they'll be playing in the Europa League next season. Now, that could be enticing for players who have never tasted European football, but de Jong is not one of those players. He has played in the Champions League for four straight seasons now, and with Barcelona having qualified to play in the competition next season, he has the chance to keep that streak going. So there's little or no motivation for him to abandon Champions League football to go and play in a lower tier. Number 2. Xavi's Trust if it was totally up to Xavi, Frankie would remain at Barcelona for at least another season. This might come as a surprise to some fans as it often seemed like the coach didn't really like the midfielder as he always seemed to be taking him off early in games. But amidst transfer rumours, Xavi has come out to say that there are not many players with De Jong's quality in the world and he would like to keep him. So having that assurance that he is part of the coach's plans for the coming season, Ten Hag will find it difficult to entice De Jong with more game time at United. Number 3. Dream Club When you land a contract with the club of your dreams, it's usually not wise to even consider moving to another club, especially not when you're in your prime. Take a look at Neymar for example. He joined his dream club at the age of 21 and left at the age of 25. He immediately regretted his decision to leave and has regretted it ever since. Now, FDJ, who is currently 25, surely doesn't want to have the same regrets as Neymar did. So if it was up to him, he would want to remain at his dream club for as long as possible. Not even if his suitors are offering 80 million euros, an inflated salary and companionship with his former manager. Back in February, the Dutch midfield maestro confirmed his love and dedication for Barcelona. He said, I'm very happy to be in Barcelona. I wanted to be here since I was little, so it's been a dream come true. He went on to reconfirm this in a recent interview with ESPN, where he said, I feel good in Barcelona. I prefer to stay with Barca. I have shared it many times. Barcelona is my dream club. It has been from a young age, and I've never regretted my decision to come here. Number 4. Other personal reasons Apart from Barcelona being his dream club, there are other, more personal reasons why de Jong wouldn't want to leave the club and the city at this time. The midfielder just recently purchased a new home in the city of Barcelona, along with long-term partner and high school sweetheart, Miki Kiemeni. Having just splurged about 5 million euros on that new gaff, we don't think de Jong and his family would be very eager to move to a different city right now. The Dutchman still has four more years on his contract with Barcelona, so you would think he'd be looking at seeing it out and perhaps even extending at some point. Honestly, if it was absolutely up to Frankie de Jong, we can categorically tell you now that he won't be leaving Barcelona this summer. But that's the thing though, it's not absolutely up to him. There is still a pretty sizable chance that de Jong might end up leaving Barca this summer, even if he doesn't want to and his coach also doesn't want him to. We all know about Barcelona's current financial situation, so with Man United dangling 80 million euros in their faces, they may just be tempted to force their prized midfielder out of the club for a huge bonanza payday. And that happening seems pretty likely, as the Catalan club are looking to land Lewandowski and Rafinha this summer, and they aren't exactly coming cheap. Meanwhile, they don't seem to have any other player in their squad who is as valuable as the former Ajax man. But what do you think will eventually happen? 
Will De Jong remain at Barca for another season or will Eric Ten Hag succeed in bringing him over to United? Let us know what you think in the comments. While you do that, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel too. Also turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.